All right, so we had another Warhammer Fantasy game last night. Uh, we're still at the beginning of 8th edition. The rule book technically hasn't even come out yet, and we uh, are at a friend's house, so we don't even have the book on us. So what we thought we would do for deployment, since we didn't have the book with all its charts and everything, is um, we just decided we would theme it. And so we, we said this is a My Bretonian Army has discovered an orc in Goblin Village, and we are attacking it, trying to rid our forests of those foul beasts or something like that. So um, we we didn't all the terrain is normal. There's a the stream going into a swamp. You see the hills, the rough terrain, um, woods. It's kind of centered around this piece that my friend built uh, from scratch, which I thought looked pretty cool. So that's their, you know, I guess like the first building of their village, which we don't see the rest of their village. And any units within six inches of this are stubborn. Now as the game played out. He used it, but I've kept forgetting that my units were stubborn too, so I never used the stubborn ability of it. My other, so my goal for the game was to um, treat it as as that theme. So I wasn't going for a minor victory. I was going to try to crush them completely off the table, uh, disperse them. My other goal was my level two damsel who takes the lore of beast finally rolled the sixth spell, and so she had the potential for turning into a dragon. So my goal for the game was to 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 get her to do that. So there's an overview of, of how we approached it. If we go real quickly from his, from my right to left on his side, he's got a board chariot, stone thrower, or whatever they call it, rock lava, I guess. Uh, ten air boys. There's a level two orc spellcaster in there. Six trolls. He's a general, which I think is a, a black orc war boss or whatever on a boar. Big unit of night goblins. A um, couple pump wagons. Some regular goblins, a spear chucka, uh, there at the back left are some night goblins with a level 4 spellcaster, some more night goblins, another spear chucka, and then a big unit of uh, orcs with spears and his battle standard bear. And I, when he deployed that unit way in the corner like that, I just kind of assumed that unit was useless and out of the game, but with terrain not affecting things anymore, it really ended up not being the case. So um, on my right, I just stuck some archers out here. Really, the main reason they're here is to get a single wound on the trolls to make their regen go away for a shooting phase, and then so I can drop a rock or two on those guys. But they're also here just to annoy or harass, just the only thing on this side of the board I have. Uh, the fast cav deployed to the right initially, but then they got their free vanguard movement, so I brought them over. I want, I want them to pull the fanatics out of that night goblin unit. You can see the other guys I have. There's uh, The knights are knights of the realm. I've got... 12 questing knights, stuck some more archers in the middle of that river, that stream. I figure they're peasants, they can deal with it. Uh, here on the left I have big unit of knights errant, and those are my Pegasus knights that went ahead and took their vanguard movement 12 inches up. And their job is to release the fanatics for these two goblin units and uh, take care of the war machines if they can survive all that. I really hope they survive. I don't need to lose that whole unit to some fanatics, but um, I'd rather them deal with it than have those things mess me up in other areas. So he decides to let me go first. So I move up, as you can see. Really my plan was to get my men-at-arms up in the middle and and just be the unit that he almost has to attack if he wants to get in combat with somebody. Um, even though that stream's in the way, I, I kind of intended my quest knights and knights errant to um, work together to take out anything coming from the left-hand side. And I wanted the knights of the realm unit to be patient and be available later on either to um, you know counter charge somebody tied up with the men at arms or to take care of something else so that's kind of what I was thinking there so when these guys flew up um, when they they flew over everybody but when they, when they got within eight inches they, they released one fanatic out of that small unit and he rolled poorly and so it didn't reach me and when I landed it released another fanatic from the back unit and that guy didn't reach me so that was beautiful as far as I was concerned. Now these fanatics are behind his lines. They're not going to hurt me. They might hurt him a little bit. And it didn't kill my Pegasus Knights in the process. And it looks like I'm in a weird formation there. It's there. I, I recognize they're supposed to line up like fast cav except half an inch apart. But the wings on those things make that very difficult. Otherwise, it's another look at the board. Uh, over here, the archers were able to get a wound on the trolls. My trebuchet... Trebuchet's launched rocks over there, and I think only did a total of two wounds, so kind of a failed effort there. 
So he moves up, as you can see. His uh, trolls are getting out of line of sight of my archers. He didn't like the flaming arrows I had. Um, yeah, he did. It kind of surprised me they didn't move his chariot. Otherwise, you can see he's hanging. But he decides to hang back with his troops. I, I'm guessing it's because he likes the stubbornness of that building. Uh, one thing that's striking me, though, that comes up later is he kind of charges out with his trolls and his general, but doesn't have anybody there to really support him very much. Not really so much now, but as he moves closer down the board. And here he took that unit of of orcs on the far left and just reformed them, turning to face my Pegasus knights. And I, I was thinking, you know, wow, that's just you're, that's going to be an exercise in futility because I can I can hop around and do a whole bunch of things up there. But it turns out that he has a a, a spell that 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 does two d six movement, and so. He casts that spell on him using six dice, and I'm thinking, okay, this is going to sacrifice my Pegasus Knight's unit, unit, but I'm going to let it go through, not try to dispel it. Instead, I'm going to use a feedback scroll. So I use that scroll. He has six dice that he has to roll, and for every five and six, it takes a wound on his spellcaster. He rolls three between you know all the fives and sixes, and I'm thinking, that's fantastic. I killed his level four first turn of the game, and then he has a five up ward save and saves two out of the three. So... <laughs> Like this poor, poor Pegasus Knights. Uh, shooting takes off a couple Knights Errant. Uh, after combat, I got amazingly lucky. He didn't do any wounds on me, which is just unbelievable. But one thing that helps is now these guys have a two-up armor save instead of the what used to be a three-up armor save. So that's nice. Um, he broke me in combat. I rolled a nine, and it took me right to the table edge, but not off. So it's really about as, as well as I could have hoped for. So Brett turn two. I bring my uh, I tr declare a charge with my fast cab into the pump wagon, knowing that in doing so I'll, I'll, I'll release fanatics. So it released two of them, and one of them landed right in front of the pump wagon. So my my guys ended up landing on top of it, and it obliterated them. So I wasn't able to take out the pump wagon. All the fast cab really did was release and kill two, release two fanatics and kill one. Um, overall, though, I'll live with it. It's okay. Otherwise, I move, as you see, I'm kind of afraid to take my Questa Knights more forward because I don't need to get charged uh, by those pump wagons. In hindsight, that may have been a mistake. My um, Pegasus Knights rallied, and because they're fast cab, they can still move. And so I passed another leadership test to allow me to march, and I passed it. So I was able to rally and then fly over here to get out of harm's way. So I thought that was a pretty slick combination. Uh, pretty happy with how what that can do for Pegasus Knights now. Otherwise, just flip through and let you see kind of what's going on on the board. Uh, trebuchet took out one of those pump wagons. Kind of a, almost a waste of the trebuchet, but I didn't want that thing charging my...